Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing good. I have started a new series on my channel and I am decluttering my makeup collection. And I'm really hopeful that this is going to free it up so I can get more creative and be less overwhelmed with the amount of stuff. So we're gonna go through everything. It's probably gonna take some time, but I'll show you the whole process. And I love watching these, so I hope that you guys will enjoy watching mine as well. And if you have any tips or anything, let me know. But let's get started. So here is my foundation drawer and I'm a little embarrassed to show this because yes, I have quite an extensive collection. However, some of these are from my makeup kit. Some of them are for personal use, some of them have been sent to me. So I feel like that maybe justifies it, but I do know that this is too many foundations, I know. But let's just take everything out and see what we have. So starting off, I have the Even Steven Foundation by The Balm. These are actually in my makeup kit. I used to use these on models. Now, as you can see, because I haven't been working recently, the foundation has started to separate. What I'm actually gonna do is clean out these little pots and then I can use them for other things for like storage. And that way it's not that much of a waste. I will say this foundation was so flawless and anytime I used it on any of my models, I would have people asking me like, what is that? Because the texture is so unusual. It just went on flawlessly. And even under heavy lights, it just looked flawless. Absolutely love this foundation, but I won't be doing any work for the next while. So we're gonna have to clean these out and at least the storage isn't going to go to waste. Next up, I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I've had this foundation for probably 10 years. It was one of the first kind of high-end foundations that I bought when I first started in the makeup industry because everybody would talk about Double Wear. It wasn't a foundation that I actually really liked using. I kind of got it because of the hype, but you know what? It, it holds a special place in my heart, so I'm never gonna use it, but I'm gonna keep it just to look at. It also might serve as a reminder not to just go along with hype. <laughs> Next up, I have the Vichy Derma Blend. These are also from my makeup kit. Whenever I use Vichy on anybody, they feel very comfortable with it. I think because they recognize the brand as not being harmful to the skin. I think people are just comfortable with this particular brand. So I have the two different types of foundation in here. I personally didn't use them that much on myself, but I did like using them on other people. However, because I haven't been using them, I'll probably give them to a makeup artist friend of mine. But for now, I'll put them back in the drawer. Next up, I have the infallible foundations and highlighters. Now the highlighters should actually be in the other drawer, which we already organized last week. I think I thought that they were all the foundations. The foundations are amazing, but these highlighter shades come in a variety, which means I can mix and match depending on the color that I need and the look that I'm creating, but we will be putting them into the other drawers. Now the foundation, if you get a chance to find this stick foundation, I highly recommend it. Even though I love the highlights, the actual foundation itself is unbelievable. And I use it all the time for my up close tutorials. Moving on, we have the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I haven't had a chance to use this. I wanna try up a few other things first, but I love the Stay Naked Collection show. I'm sure I'm gonna love this because I also love the concealer, which I use all the time. Next up, I have the Maybelline Dream Radiance Liquid and also the Urban Cover. I haven't had a chance to use these, but my sister says the Urban Cover is brilliant. I also think that the Dream Radiance Liquid is gonna be great for the more mature skin because it has the hyaluronic acid in there and the collagen too. It's a perfect combination. And I'm gonna give one to my mom and I'm also gonna keep the Urban Cover for myself because my sister says it's really good and I trust her. 
Next up, we have the Benefit Hello Happy. I actually thought that this was a very limited collection, but I see that they've added some more shades, which I'm really thankful for. I love this foundation for more of the younger skin. If I'm gonna do like a dramatic eye, I always have to put a little bit on the skin for the younger girls, but I don't like to put anything too heavy, you know? So this is a great one because it's not too heavy on the skin, adds a little extra coverage and helps the eyes stand out. For more of the mature skin and also a personal favorite of mine, I have the Yves Saint Laurent All Nighter Primer and then the Lancome Ultra Wear. I just love the combination of the primer and then that foundation, they work beautifully together. There is an all nighter foundation, however, I do like it for more of the winter because it does last a really long time, even if you're going from hot and cold environments. That one's more for the winter and then the ultra wear is kind of all year round. Next up, I have the Giorgio Armani. This is a new one. I've already gone through one of these already. So basically it has this little flip up cap with the sponge and then your foundation is sitting underneath and I love it. It's great for on the go. If you're the type of person that just needs to have makeup, maybe in your car or at your desk or wherever you're going, I don't know where you're going, but wherever you're going and you need just a little bit of makeup, this one's a really handy one to have. Speaking of Giorgio Armani, my go-to for my makeup kit is the Giorgio Armani Silk Foundation and the Power Foundation. And these are the best wedding, bridal, mother of the bride foundations in my opinion. So you have the Silk one, which is more for the drier skin it looks phenomenal and the lasting power is amazing seriously you can get a good good 24 hours out of this if not more if you you know really prep the skin and make sure you're kind of fixing it up unbelievable one of my favorites and then you have the power one which is more for the oilier skin for the more mature ladies what i like to do is i mix up a little bit of both particularly if the makeup is not holding on to the more mature skin which can often happen, but I like to use like a combination of both for them. And I also really appreciate the fact that they've come out with a slightly different one, but very similar in a tube form, which is a lot handier for traveling rather than the glass containers. Don't get me wrong, love the glass containers, but having it in a tube is much, much easier. Something that's kind of similar to the Giorgio Armani Silk Foundation is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. This is a breathable. Now, I think the breathable actually got discontinued, which is really unfortunate because this is one of my favorites. Again, for up close tutorials, I would use this foundation because it sits really nicely, even when the camera is like really close to my face. It also feels quite hydrating on the skin, particularly around the eye area when I'm doing my up close eye makeup tutorials. This is what I would use, but I think it's been discontinued. However, the original form formula, the Lasting Finish Original, is a beautiful foundation as well. And another product that I love from Rimmel is the Matte Perfection. This was actually my go-to in college. <laughs> I loved this foundation so much. It always looked amazing on a night out. Not that I went out very much when I was in college, but again, a great foundation. It holds up against some of the higher ones as well, which I really like. And it's from the drugstore. I wish they had a better shade range. However, their shade range is fairly limited. I'm pretty sure They've added more perhaps, but I wish more brands would add more shades, you know, and skip shades rather than going like one, one and a half, two, two and a half. We should be getting like one, threes, sixes, nines, you know, we should be jumping shades so that we have more variety, but they don't have to have the expense of creating a huge collection. Just skip them. If they can't afford to make more shades, skip them. A foundation collection that does have a massive shade range is the True Match. Now this is the American True Match bottles. These are glass bottles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean these out because these are really old. Clean these out and then I'm gonna use them. I think they'll be really cute in my bathroom actually with some, you know, bath salts or something. Note Cosmetics next. I don't really use these that often. I have used them a few times, they're pretty good. And I always like to have a foundation from each brand. It helps me understand the brand, which is again what I have here. I have the LA Girl Pro Coverage. Again, I always like to have a foundation from each brand. So if I do like a brand, tutorial I always know I have a foundation ready for that and I love actually the pro coverage I think that they have a great collection I love the fact that they have the different tones now that you can mix in the concealer collections are amazing I use the concealer every single day love LA girl I don't reach for this foundation that much but I do reach for the concealer a new favorite of mine is the Wet n Wild Stick Foundations. I use these for cream contouring and highlighting. I love using the more of the cooler tones in the darker shade for contouring my face. I feel like they work really well for that. Not so much for foundation. I feel it's a little heavier for my skin, but I love the way that it blends and sits on the skin if I'm using it for cream contouring and highlighting. So I will be keeping 
the whole collection. Next up, I have the Maybelline 24 hour foundation. I love the Superstay collection by Maybelline. I know people like the Fit Me didn't really get into the Fit Me collection. The Superstay, in my opinion, was way better. I feel like it really did exactly what it said. It super stayed on your skin. I used to use these when I had acne because it just covered everything and it stayed covered, you know, all day long. Again, I always like to have a foundation from each brand. Take a sip of water every time I say that. Oh, this brings back memories. I used to use shade 51 every single day in so many of my tutorials very early on. If you are here on the Makeup Chair channel for a long time, then you know about the Healthy Mix. I'm pretty sure they got discontinued here in Ireland. It's hard to find them, unfortunately, but shade 51, you know I love you. Now we have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I love this for more of the mature ladies because it really holds on to the skin. For the younger people, anybody below age 25, it's a, it's a little heavy in my opinion, but that's my opinion. But for the more mature ladies, this holds and it stays and it looks flawless. So I love that, particularly for like my mom. If I wanna do like a fancy look on my mom, I'll use this. I also just love their packaging. I think their packaging is beautiful. Another product by Charlotte Tilbury is the Healthy Glow. This is a unisex product. All makeup is unisex though. This is a kind of a tint. So basically it goes on clear, but as you start to rub it in, just ever so slightly a little bit of coverage, but more glow to the skin. If you're somebody who just likes to put a little bit of something on, put this on, bring it down your neck, boom, you're done. I actually highly recommend it. I actually think this might be one of my favorite products from them. I just love the way it looks on the skin. Next up, we have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. You can hear that I smiled immediately because I love the fact that this brand has the different tones and shades. This is great for showing people the different tones within foundations. I can be like, hey, look at this. This one's more pink. This one is more neutral. We have more yellows. And it's so obvious. And it's also written on the container as well. They have the warm, cool, and neutral, I believe, written on it. So it's a really great one. And I love the foundation itself, but it's a great representation of the different tones. Love it. This is something that my sister got me and I was so excited. It's the Pro Foundation Mixer in Olive. Anybody with olive skin tone will know how difficult it is to find something that is olive enough. So you basically mix these with your foundation. I mix it with some white foundation and then that way I can get my olive tone. It's great. I'm so happy. Thank you to my sister for this one. Next up, we have another product from Giorgio Armani and this is from the Prima collection. This is a product for people who hate tinted moisturizers but want to use a tinted moisturizer, AKA myself. I hate tinted moisturizers, but I love this because even though technically it's a tinted moisturizer, it doesn't add any heaviness to my skin because I find a lot of those tinted moisturizers, they're too heavy. This is light enough. It adds a little bit extra coverage. In my opinion, it is, it is amazing. And I have to say the primer collection by Giorgio Armani, hands down one of the best collections that they have. If you have a chance to use any of the products from this collection, Highly recommended. Every single product that I have used from the Prima collection, I have loved. Am I saying that right, by the way? Prima? Okay, moving swiftly on, we have a Clarins foundation. Again, I always like to have a foundation from each brand. This is more of a mattifying foundation. It was sent to me. I think, I think PR people think I have maybe oily skin. I actually have very dry skin, but I get sent a lot of the mattifying ones, which I am fine with because I can kind of make it work. It also gives me a great indication of how a brand works if I have a foundation from them. So if I want to do like a full look from Clarins, I have a foundation. Next up, we have the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow Foundation. It's a very long name, but it's an amazing product. This is second to the Giorgio Armani Silk Foundation. I also like the fact that this is in a tube and it has like a little pump, so it's great to have in my makeup kit. Yves Saint Laurent, you can't go wrong. That should be their tagline. Unbelievable foundation. So easy to apply, looks beautiful, looks flawless, and it's just effortless to use. If I had to pick, I still think I'd go for the Illuminous Silk by Giorgio Armani, but this would be a very, very close second. It's also easier to travel with though. So that's why it kind of wins. Moving on to Fenty Beauty. I got a massive collection of these. This is the Soft Matte, and you know what? As matte foundations go, I can actually use this on my skin. I don't use them that often, only because I have dry skin, but I do use the hydrating foundation and I forgot, 
I forgot where I put these. It was buried under everything. I didn't know that they were even there. So I'm really glad that I cleaned this out because shade 150 is my go-to in the winter. I just find it's just perfect on my skin. And I love the hydrating finish. I love that it's, it's really long lasting to apply it. It's flawless. I need to use this foundation more. It's brilliant. Highly recommend. Moving on, I have the Body Shop Clay Foundation. Again, this was sent in PR. That's why it's the matte version. I want to just clarify that I am very appreciative of everything that's sent to me. Maybe it's not completely suitable. Still really appreciative. And again, if I want to do a brand-focused tutorial, I have a foundation that works for that. Moving on, I have the Max Factor Healthy Skin Foundation. The shade's a little bit off for me, but the texture actually works pretty well. I always thought the Max Factor is what everybody was calling MAC, right? I thought it was like MAC was like the slang term for Max Factor. And so I didn't understand why all these makeup artists were like, this is from Mac and use Mac and Mac, Mac, Mac. I thought they were saying Max for years. <laughs> this is when I was very young though and first starting out. So you'll have to forgive me for that. But yeah, I thought Max Factor and Mac were the same thing. Next, we have my absolute go-to It Cosmetics Your Skin Only Better foundation, which I have on my face right now. I love it. I use it every day. It is my go-to and I will use this until it's gone because it's beautiful and amazing and I love it. Now we have a Primark foundation and you know what? This is actually pretty good, especially for the price. Again, I always like to have a foundation from each brand. So if I want to do a brand focus, I have a foundation. The Ofra foundation. I totally forgot I even had this and I absolutely loved it, particularly in the winter, which is good. I'm glad I found it now because as we come into the winter, I can use it. The first time I used this, I was blown away. I was like, what is this? This is fantastic. I think it looks amazing on the skin, particularly on camera. Love. Milani foundation. This is the conceal and perfect foundation. Again, a nice basic foundation gives me indication of the brand. And if I want to do a brand focus, I have a foundation. The same thing with Flormar. I have the matte one and then I have the perfect coverage. Perfect coverage would be kind of more of my go-to, but the matte one works actually pretty well. It's not too matte, which is what I like. Again, if I want to do a brand focus, I have a foundation. I don't know how to pronounce this brand. However, I absolutely love this. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's really long lasting and it sits beautifully on my skin and on camera, it looks amazing. And I love the fact that it has a little spatula inside. So I'm definitely keeping that, love it. So I've kind of decided what I'm keeping, what I'm giving away. So let's put it all back in the drawer. So that's all the decluttering that I'm going to do today. Make sure to check the information box and I'm also going to like link it on the screen to see the other videos in this series. I hope that you enjoyed it. As always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you in the next one.